Thank you. 
as well. This is the Black Sea up the top and I might write that in. Black. The Black Sea. Yep, there we go. That's Turkey. And that's the Black Sea. And got the pencil again. Invaded 
on the 25th of April 1915, but like a lot of other battles in World War One, there was lots of trenches dug, and it ended up being very much a stalemate. So I think I think it was about December 1915 that all the Australia, New Zealand, there might have been English. I'm pretty sure there was English forces there too. Decided to. Uh, retreat. So yeah. Now this is the Mediterranean Sea. It's interesting how close a lot of these uh, countries, countries are to one another. Um, we've got down here, we've got Cyprus. Cypriots in Australia. Realise how close it was to Syria, to Syria, Lebanon. Australia for a country that's I think it's only about five billion people. It's um it's amazing we've got so many Lebanese um, uh, migrants, descendants of Lebanese migrants in Australia. It's interesting. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's good. I'm just saying it's interesting. So we've got Russia, Georgia. Russia doesn't share a border. We've got Georgia, Armenia, Iraq, Iran, sorry, Iran, Iraq, Syria, and um, Greece. Of rain, 
Yeah. 
cities Istanbul Istanbul I suppose that's the the largest and most famous city in Turkey although it's not the uh, capital and the capital Caesar was around here near the Black Sea and Julius Caesar said I came I saw I conquered I always thought that saying was William the Conqueror but according to my notes Julius Caesar said it first Istanbul, 
is supposed to be a city that's on two continents. It's on Europe and it's also on Asia, which is interesting. I don't know whether Istanbul goes across. It might go across to the other side of that, that little strait, which I know is called the... actually the sea of Marmas.